Assalamu alaikum dear aspirants uh, you are wel welcome to my mentor youtube channel uh, today i am honored to have with me case officer close friend of mine naushad anjumir uh, i had some i had a privilege right now to share some time with him we are going somewhere uh, we will discuss some important issues regarding kas preparation with naushad sir uh, the questions that students usually face during the initial stages of their preparation some of the doubts he will clear uh, first thing that i will ask from students point of view to naushad sir is uh, when is the ideal stage for preparation when shall students start preparing for kas exam please sir assalam alaikum everyone thank you so much ishfaq bhai for sort of you know inviting me to this video and uh, i i see this opportunity to share some of my experiences with the students out there who are uh, i mean preparing for civil service examination so coming to your question i think the ideal time to start for the civil service uh, preparation is i mean any time whenever it occurs to you that you should be preparing for this exam even if you are in your 10th standard you should somehow start your preparation start your studies oriented towards this examination and there is no ideal time whenever you start you just have to start so if you are done with your graduation or you are sort of done your pg and you are now exclusively for this preparation that's when you should exclusively prepare for it you should go for very hard when it comes to your studies for this and if you are in your college or something you should take care of your college but you should start preparation for the civil service as well uh, i mean for the college students out there you can uh, read newspaper and i mean along with your college studies but take care of your classes give regular classes take your degree very, very seriously because that's going to determine a lot your degree is going to be asked questions in the interview come from your background and uh, if your background is in humanities or in core science subject which might be your optional in future so take care of your subjects read basics very well take care of your classes do your homework very properly give exams very seriously get very good percentile and after that if you get some time in your degree along with your uh, i mean your your regular degrees if you get some time dedicate that time to some newspaper reading you know develop a <coughs> habit of reading newspaper and besides if there is some more time uh, start with some basic ncrts now to get the taste of the syllabus of this exam So the second question that I have from students is that uh, how should they select the optional subject because that carries uh, almost 500 markers there is too much weightage to optional how should they select that what sort of uh, things they must keep in mind while selecting the optional right you know optional selection it is a very very important thing you have to have no i have uh, some of the some of my friends who appeared in one optional couldn't score better than they had to change their optionals that is an important decision you take that what should be your optional i mean there are a few things which an aspirant should keep in mind i mean while choosing an optional one of the things i guess is if your degree your background is uh, is, is is in some subject which is an optional subject in it you should give preference you should give priority to that subject it's because i'll, I'll share my experience my optional in my optional i had my degree right so i had already prepared that subject in my degree pretty well so the question paper i faced in ks was that was completely tougher right and there was sort of hala bol in the in the hall it's said that this is very tough paper we are going to not going to you know even give this paper at all even in mumbai more in jammu than here in kashmir and we had to i mean give that paper then again that paper was cancelled in at our time but what happened was i was see the moment i saw the paper i start writing i i forgot that this was not from the ks syllabus itself it's because the, the, the knowledge you get in your degree say i was an msc in in, in zoology so when you do a, a pg in some subject you get a very good knowledge about the subject that really really helps you in your optional as an optional in civil service examination because the syllabus is not that confined whatever line is given in a syllabus it is sort of you know there are so many things associated with that uh, subject with that uh, syllabus fine so choosing your subjects optional subject if it's your background it's great i mean and if there is an engineering graduate if you do not have any subject in our 
you have not studied well your uh, this degree you can go for uh, there's anthropology for some science aptitude guys if you don't have any optional in mind uh, go for anthropology there are so many people taking anthropology and they are scoring pretty good they are qualifying in anthropology case has this history that there are a lot of people coming from anthropology right even in our batch, the batch, the batch before us, the batch after us, <laughs> there were a good number of people in anthropology. After that, for the humanities guys, there are some basic basic optionals whose percentage in general studies is, is well. That's like uh, PSIR you have got, you have Babad, you have geography, you have history. Or for some Urdu aptitude guys, Urdu has been doing very good. I have a very good number of friends in services itself who had Urdu as optional. So these are these are two three points. One is your background, your own aptitude, and you have to see if the guidance and the resource material is available in the market for that. Uh, you can also see if how is that optional scoring or how is the pattern of that uh, subject. You know, at our time the botany subject had some really bad. I mean, uh, question pattern. There used to come some five marks, six, ten mark questions. That was a, a very. I mean, uh, not a good. Uh, you know question paper to, to write it's because when you follow those short uh, number of questions you tend to score low so uh, what happened was there were very less people coming from botany in services so but I, I, I to my knowledge they are done away with this uh, I mean uh, uh, disparity in paid pattern in optional circumstances so if there are if there is same pattern now that, uh, that uh, you know, objective should not be there by the choosing an option so these so a couple of things should be kept in mind while you choose your option so some of the students are from humble backgrounds, they can't afford coaching. Okay. Is it necessary to go for coaching to Delhi? Uh, and how much is the importance of environment for KES preparation, uh, especially studying in groups, having a close group of two, three friends? A second, sir, let me on this, yeah. So what was it about? about environment. Yeah, environment and, and coaching. Importance in coaching, okay. So, uh, Ishfaq as far as, I mean, my experiences are concerned, I think, uh, you know what, it is It is all about environment. You should know about the subject. First, you should have the understanding of the process itself. You should, you should, you should know about the process of the exam. You should know the structure of the exam. And once you do that, once you understand the process, once you understand the requirements from the exam, it's your hard work which, which, which I mean, comes to your rescue. It's, it's your that smart work which you do. It's that when you st and when you sit at one place for all that day, for all year and years to follow, and it's that. And I guess that good environment helps you in that. That that and environment plays a very good role when it comes to an aspirant. And coaching. I mean, what does coaching do? That that taking all those coaching class for general studies I think that is not really required they are good I mean there are some good institutes in Delhi who, who teach you I like very very good you get very hold on some subjects but that's not really required the way they teach you I mean uh, if, if there is somebody who can guide you better in, in yeah. general studies subjects if, if there is somebody who can make you understand the really the, the real process of the exam I think that's what re really matters most than the coaching itself and environment I mean, let me take the case study of these RCAs which are there in Delhi. What do they provide? Are they are ICP for that matter? What do they provide? That's environment, really. Yeah. So if you have a very good library, some very good students around who are some very good seniors who are studying with you, a hostel facility there where you can really, which can save your time. So I guess it is that which is really more important than than the, that teaching studying mode itself that teaching and no students just yes, class at coaching time it's not that really required particularly at the time is when you have got youtube when you have so many online resources at your disposal like you know there are portals which update current affairs every hour so i don't really feel it's the need of coaching anymore so another question that i have for you is uh, uh it's now easy it is easy but not that much easy to qualify this exam in first attempt. Most of the students face problem while qualifying it, maybe in second attempt or in third attempt. How shall they manage that stress, that family pressure, that peer pressure going for the exam again and again? Uh, what shall they do? Okay, for somebody who doesn't qualify it first time. Yeah. Okay. So I don't really think I qualify to speak about it. I have, <laughs> I, Alhamdulillah, I have not to qualify in the very first attempt. and. Still, to my understanding, I think, I mean, you should really know why you appeared for this exam at the first place, yeah. right? You should know that. You should have that reason for this why, why of this exam should be there with you always. And whenever you feel that, no, it's it's oh, it's enough now, you're, you're not qualifying it, you should not be doing it. And you have got attempts, I think that why comes to your help. Yeah. You know, just remember uh, the, the reason you wanted to, you know, start this preparation for you want to qualify this exam. And the, the kind of... I mean, empowerment, it, this exam 
that does to you the kind of no the the recognition and the kind of respect you get in the society the kind of job it provides for an unemployed people i mean this is this is an amazing opportunity one should really do it as long as you can given the attempts it's it's worth all that six attempts if somebody it, if it takes us six attempts to qualify this exam please do it please do it don't don't really give up it's it's all about going on and now it has become a trend i mean people are seldom qualified first in their first attempts right so it's really okay you 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 should see around what's what is happening how there how many attempts taking for some aspirants and now what i have realized is even if there are people who qualified in the first attempt their studies do not i mean start right there in that very year yeah. there has to be some background there are people who start their preparation in their college and study for 2 3 years and then qualify the first attempt so that technically is their to second third year or second third attempt you know talking yeah, yeah. that those terms okay sir so dears today uh, this is some of the important thoughts shared by case officer navshad and jumeer with you uh, inshallah in coming times uh, we will invite him again on our youtube channel uh, he guides students as well uh, at his own level uh, you can approach us for guidance from navshad sir is always available at the for the disposable of we students have, we have that in the institute sort of we have an initiative online going on at uh, there by a couple of my batch mates and a few from ias uh, i mean side uh, we had this initiative they sort of invited me in that and i have joined in that we uh, guide people online that initiative has been called now aliba that's called aliba there's a facebook page aliba you can follow that you can get the updates out there so the 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 aim of that initiative is to guide aspirants in their self studies you don't need to go in coaching there are videos online given kana classes come there and we sort of guide aspirants online in their self studies So the, so the message from Navshad sir is that the initiative that some of the IAS officers along with Navshad sir has started for humble background students that's Alif Ba that's a yeah, Facebook classes in the evening they yeah. are giving guidance uh, there online classes are being delivered One uh, class in a week and uh, just for the understanding of the exam and sort of study study material how to make notes and kind of those sessions we take and I I guess that's helping students. So on Alif Ba, you can approach Navshad sir for his classes and the classes from his friends who have already qualified uh, IAS exam. So that that's it from this video. See you in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Thank you. Allah Thank Hafiz. you. Thank, Thank you. you.